Happy New Year and welcome to the first Market Matters video update for 2014. Sean, your strongest call in the 2014 preview uh, was a long gold and particularly via Newcrest. Uh, how's that trade gone and what are you expecting in the future? Happy New Year, Dave. Um, it's gone very well at the moment. Today's a great day to ask me. Um, Newcrest is up almost 6%. Looking fantastic. It starts to close above $9. I think we'll see $14, $15, maybe even be $16 in the first three to six months this year. Uh, everything's lining up perfectly for me. Gold's bounced off 1180. Everyone's bearish gold. It hasn't really hit the headlines yet, but the short positions are huge. Everyone's underweight gold. No one's talking buy gold. That's when I want to buy it. It looks fantastic. I'm very, very bullish gold stocks, especially in Newcrest Mining. And I'd still be buying today. I'd be buying any weakness and any strength. But this is no reason not to be buying Newcrest Mining today. Okay. And uh, one of your high conviction calls last week and standout of the week uh, was a contrarian call on iron ore. What prompted that and, uh, and how is that going? That was prompted by doing some research, um, looking at the various movements across the iron ore stocks across the world. Vale, which is the biggest iron ore stock in the world, um, has been falling continually, whereas our iron ore stocks had a strong rally in December when we all got caught out by that 7% rally in the market. That's now coming home to the roost, and we're seeing the stocks getting hammered. Fortescue Mining closed at 5.14 today, that's down 80 cents, almost up 15% of its highs in only a week. Same sort of things happening to Rio, obviously to a lesser extent to BHP, which is more diversified. I think it's going to give us a fantastic opportunity to buy iron ore stocks in the coming month, hopefully in the coming week. I'm a strong buyer of Fortescue Mining around 4.80. I'm literally in the screen there to buy it today. I think that um, we're going to see ongoing strength in our sector on the back foot, but in the short term, I think we're going lower. Thanks, Sean, and keep a lookout for future video updates later in the week.